Hello everyone, Carolyn here and welcome to today's tutorial. Today I will be showing you the Banana Rama bracelet and this was designed by Lo Coco Rama on Instagram. I think this is an absolutely beautiful design and I also added um, the shoestring closure by Nix Haley 22 with a tutorial by Artisan Loom and also the um, chaining and right here both of those were also by Nix Haley 22 and tutorials by Artisan Loom. I finally got it girls. Okay so without further ado this is your pin bar setup. Ten pin bars across, two most center aligned, down a stagger step, up a stagger step, down a stagger step, up a stagger step. Um, in this rendition I used about eight different colors. I thought that was a little much. Um, so I will only be using three today and I will show you the band placement on this bracelet. Okay, so the very first thing we're going to do is lay our perimeter, which is the medieval red that you see going along the side. I take two across my centermost pin bar because if I'm going to go through all this trouble of making such a big bracelet, I want it to be sturdy. Okay, and if you are going to be blinging this bracelet, please wait until you are at the looming process and then add the bling as you loom because this side is the top side. Okay, so you're just going to work your way to the edge again. Same thing, mirror image opposite side. Just working your way to the edge. And then straight up your loom. Okay. Now I will tell you, this rendition is a two full loom links. And I still had to add the shoestring closure because it is very tight. So I do recommend that you go all the way up the loom. If you have two looms, that's Actually, you're going to need like seven, but <laughs> if you're doing this for two womb links. Okay, so just go to the top. I'm going to finish mine up, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I've made it to the top of my loom, and to close off this section or the perimeter, what you're going to do is go up to the right, down to the right, up to the right, down to the right, and then you're going to leave that space open. And then you're going to do, do the same thing, mirror image, up to the left, down to the left, up to the left, and then again down to the left, leaving that open. And then what you want to do is um, get your next color in this rendition. It is the blue, metallic blue that you see going down the center on either side. And then, let me see, I'm going to be using white. Okay, so you're going to go over to your fourth pin bar and place a simple chain all the way up the fourth. Two, three, and four. And then again, doing the same thing on pin bar six. No, excuse me, seven, seven, seven. Two. Okay, so just continue that up your loom, easy peasy. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you our next step as well. Um, in this rendition, it is the purple Persian X's that you see going down the center there. And again, I'm going to be using white. And what you're going to do is simply play, place an X. Ah! Dropping bands everywhere. And then cross back over. And then just continue up your loom. So go to the right, to the left, left, and then right. Easy peasy. Okay, so just go ahead and finish those two simple steps up. I'm going to finish mine up and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, we're ready for our next band placement step. In this rendition, it is the metallic purple that you see going down the center there on either side. Either side. And we're going to be working with the fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh pin bar. And what you're going to do is go forward, then go across at an angle, forward, and across just basically making that um, seven shape okay so just forward down at an angle forward down at an angle same thing mirror image opposite side forward and then just down to the right again forward 
Easy, guys. You should know. I'm pretty confident that this is far enough. So just continue that for the remainder of your loom, and then I'll be back for our next fan placement step. All right, everybody, I'm back, and we are ready for our next fan placement step. In this rendition, it is the blue navy Persian that you see going along the center there. And I'm just going to be using pink. We are going to be again working with the third, oh, excuse me, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh pin bars. Um, this time laying a seven going in the opposite direction. So this time we're going to go forward and then across. And then, oh, just run forward and then across at an angle. Okay. Okay, so that's what you want to do for that side, and then you want to do the same thing, mirror image to the opposite pins, just going up and down diagonally. Okay, up, Oop, that one's going to pop. Okay, so just continue that up your loom. I'm going to finish mine up, and then I'll be right back for our next man placement step. All right, everybody, we are ready for our next man placement step. We are going to be working with the third and the eighth pin bar, placing a single chain, and it is the medieval red that you see wrapped with a little chain going up. I'm going to be using pink, and again, just a single chain. third and then up the eighth okay all right i'm gonna go off finish mine up for the top all right I'll everyone right. i'm back and we're ready for our next fan placement step it is the purple persian that you see going down the center here on either side okay and we're going to be working with our first second third eighth ninth and tenth pin bar what you want to do is go from your first pin bar in at an angle and then across and then cross that and back across. Then you're going to go up a pin bar, go to the center and across and up to the right, up to the left. One more time on this side, up to the center, down to the center, just creating the little honeycomb shapes, basically the X's, to close them off. Okay, so that's what you do on your left side. Same thing, mirror image for your right. Oop. To the center. And just like that. One more time, and then I'm going to leave you. Pin bar in, cross, up, oops, sorry. That way. I guess it really wouldn't matter though, because you're just wanting that X shape. Okay, so just continue that up your loom. I'm going to go off, finish mine up, and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, I'm back when we're ready for our next band placement step. In this rendition, it is the metallic purple that you see going along the edges there. Okay, I'm going to be sticking with my glitter pink, so I hope you don't get confused. What we are going to do is work with the first, second, and third pin bar in the eighth, ninth, and tenth, tenth pin bar. And what we are going to do is create a triangle going across those pegs, and then a triangle going across those pegs. Okay, so basically that's what we're going to be placing inside each star first. Again, just a triangle, making sure to press the bands down as you go, because we've got several more layers to go. Okay, same thing, mirror image, opposite side. Just placing a triangular band across those three pins. One more time, and then I'm going to go off and finish mine up. Okay, 
All right, so continue that up your loom. I'm gonna go off, finish mine up, and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, we are ready for our next band placement step. In this rendition, it is the metallic red that you see going along there, underneath the um, Persian navy blue. Okay, what we are going to do is we are going to work for the third and fourth, and then seventh and eighth pin bars. What we are going to do is take our first band up at an angle on a long stretch and then cross that back over and just simply repeat that all the way up the loom. Long stretch to the left, back across, long stretch to the left, back across, and repeating that up the left side. For the right side, same thing, mirror image, inner pin out to the right, cross back over, and then just working your way all the way up the loom, making sure to take your long stretch first and then cross it back with your short. Okay, um, also I'm going to go ahead and show you the next band placement step after this one, which is just a single chain up the second and up the ninth pin bar, again just a single chain, and that's going to be the blue, metallic blue that you see going along there. I'm sorry guys, I'm just trying to kind of save time on the tutorial instead of going back off and then coming back on because these are fairly easy, especially this particular step. It's just a single chain again up the second and the ninth pin bar. Okay, just like that. All right, so I'm going to go off, finish both steps all the way up the loom, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, we are ready for our final band placement step in this rendition. It is the navy blue Persian going up the sides. Okay, I'm going to be using white. And what you want to do is just work from your fifth pin bar inward, skipping that um, two most center pins, and just working to the edge, laying a secondary perimeter all the way up. Same as your very first perimeter. Same thing, mirror image. I'm going to get you up to the sides and then show you how to close up top. Again, it's just following the original perimeter that you laid, but for those who may be confused, just follow it all the way to the top and then follow it back towards the center. Okay, I'm going to go off, finish mine up, and um, when you get up here, go ahead and add two double loop cap bands across the two most center pins. That way we can start our looming process when I come back. Be right back. All right, everyone, I'm back, and I've added my capping band, and so now we are ready to start our looming process. I'm going to go into the fifth band and grab that secondary perimeter, and go ahead and pull it back to itself all the way to the perimeter, or excuse me, to the edge of the perimeter, I should say. And then all the way up, closing it up just like a regular perimeter. Okay, and same thing, mirror image opposite side, inside the cap band, and then just pull the perimeter back to itself. Okay. And then just work your way up on the secondary perimeter. I did that did one band. Okay. And also, um, the next step is going to be fairly easy. So I'm going ahead, going to go ahead and tell you um, what to do for your very next step. You're just going to go into your second pin and your ninth pin bar, and pull that single chain band all the way back to itself, all the way up. Again, that's on your second and on your ninth pin bar. Okay, just all the way up. Nothing fancy on that. Single chains. Okay, so I'm gonna go off, finish um, both those steps up, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys. So we are ready for our next looming step. We're going to be working with the third, fourth, um, seventh, and eighth pin bars. And what we are going to do is go in and grab that small band if I can grab it and just pull it back to itself creating a little cap band right there and then we're going to go in and grab our bottommost band of our X pull it back to its home post go in and then pull the short band back and then repeat so 
for a long stretch, short stretch, long stretch band, short stretch band, just pulling each back to their corresponding home post. Easy step. Okay, same thing, mirror image opposite side. So again, go in and grab your um, small diagonal band to create your cat band. Then grab your long stretch band, go into the band that you just created, the, the peg that you just created, the cat band, and pull that back to the home post, and then repeat. Long stretch, short stretch, long stretch band, short to the left, and to the right. And just repeat that for the remainder of your loom. I'm gonna go off, finish mine up, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I'm back, and we are ready for our next looming step. We are going to be working with the fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh pin bar. What we are going to do is go in and grab that straight band, pull it up at an angle to the left, then go into the next peg up, pull that back to its corresponding home post, and then pull your straight forward band up and to the left. And then just repeat that up your loom. So the small band goes back, long band goes up at a long stretch, back to the home post, up to the left on the long stretch. Same thing, mirror image opposite side. So you want to go in and take that long band up at a stretch, and then go in, pull it back to its home post, long band up at a stretch. Back to its home post, long stretch, short stretch to its home post, long stretch up and to the right. Okay, so just repeat that for the remainder of your loom. I'm going to go off, finish mine up, and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, and I'm back, and we're ready for our next looming step. We are going to be working with pin bars four, five, six, and seven. And what we are going to do is go into our fourth pin bar and grab our diagonal band and pull it back upon itself. And then take our straight forward band and loom it forward. And now we're just going to repeat. So purple band down, or excuse me, pink. I don't know why I said purple. Okay, and then forward band straight up. Again, diagonally down and then straight forward okay one more time on this side go in grab your diagonal band bring it back down to its home post go in grab the straight forward band pull it straight forward same thing mirror image opposite side so bring it down into the left if it will get on this day and then we just straight forward and then repeat. There we go. Up. Back down to itself. Straight forward. Back down to itself. Last time. And straight forward. Okay, continue that for the remainder of your loom. I'm going to finish mine up and I'll be right back. All right, everyone, we're ready for our next looming step. We're going to be working with the fifth and the sixth pin bar. I'm going to go in and grab the bottom most X band, cross it back to its home post, and continue that for the remainder of your loom. Just looping everything back to it, back to its corresponding home post, grabbing the bottom most band first. Do one or two more with you, and then I'm going to leave you. It's a fairly basic step. Okay. All right, so just continue that up your loom. I'm going to go off, finish mine up, and I'll be right back. All right, everyone, I'm back, and we're ready for our next looming step. We're going to be working with the first, second, third, eighth, ninth, and tenth pin bar, and always working from the centermost pin bar, so it would be you're always pulling from your um, second pin bar or your ninth pin bar. But you're going to go in, grab your triangle band, and loop it back to their corresponding home post, and then go up and just loom out 
your um, X's back to their corresponding home post. And then just continue again with your triangles. And then again with your X's. Just pulling everything back to their corresponding home post. Nothing tricky on that one. Okay. And now you're going to do the same thing, mirror image opposite side. So go into your ninth, pull your triangle bands over to your eighth, if I can get it to go. And then over to the tenth, and then just go in, grab your topmost band, and pull them all back to their corresponding home post. Do do do, get on there. Again. Pulling everything back to their corresponding home post. Nothing fancy about it. Just easy steps. Okay, so just continue that for the remainder of your loom. I'm going to go off, finish mine up, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back and we're ready for our next looming step. We're going to be working with the 4th and the 7th fin bar. And we're going to go in and grab our single chain band, but instead of looping it um, back to itself, what we're going to do is kind of pull it to the right and then loop it up around the peg above it. And then we're going to work our way up the room, loom alternating between going between left side and right side. So like I went um, to the right of this, so I'll go to the left of this pin. Okay, then go back down a peg and then you're going to go to the right of that one. Okay. Go back down a peg and then go to the left of that one and above. Okay, a couple more times because I don't want you to get confused. Go in, grab your band, you went to the left, so now go around to the right of the pin and then just continue alternating all the way up your loop. Okay, so that's what you're going to do on your left side. And again, same thing, mirror image opposite side. So we're going to go to the left and then to the right and to the left and to the right and to the left again to the right. Okay, so just continue that for the remainder of your loom all the way up. And then I'll be back to show you our next looming step. All right, everyone, we're back and we're ready for our next looming step. We're going to be working with the third and the eighth pin bar on the single chains. Basically kind of repeating the same step, but instead of alternating between um, pulling to the left and to the right side, we're only going to be pulling towards the center of the design. Okay, so what we are going to do is go in and again, we're going to pull to the right on this side all the way up so again coming around to the next pin up and going to the right of the pin that you're pulling from or that's above the pin you're pulling from rather I should say oh sorry guys let me do it one more time with you on this side okay so basically if you look at it and you have a straight line going down the center right here, you're doing it correctly. You know that it's right. And then your other one should zigzag. See, straight line, straight line, straight line. Okay? So for this side, what we are going to do is go in and pull to the right of the pin. That way it creates that straight line on this side. Okay? Again, just pulling behind to the left. Okay. Last time, and then I'm going to leave you. Okay. All right, I'm going to finish mine up, and I'll be right back for our final looming step. Okay, I'm back, and we are ready for our final looming step, and that's just to loom out our perimeter. So we go into our fifth pin bar and just pull everything back to their corresponding home post all the way to the edge and then simply all the way up just 
pulling that from the back upon itself. Same thing, mirror image, opposite side. So again, just go in, work your way to the edge. And then up your loom to close off your perimeter. Okay. And then when you get to the top, just go ahead and follow your way back in towards the center. And then um, I'll be back to show you how to close it off just in case someone doesn't know how. And I'll be right okay, back. Okay, so you've made it to the top of your loom. As you can see, I went ahead and removed two pin bars because I didn't like all that tension on that single chain band. But I haven't closed it up here yet because I wanted to show you that just in case you were unsure. Um, but what you want to do is go into your sixth pin bar and grab your um, double banded bands that we placed earlier. Place one end on your C clip. I can get them to go on there. Here we go. And then go in and grab the exact same bands on the opposite peg. Oh, that was only one. Let me straighten that out. I thought that that was There we go. And then just put those on the other side of your C clip. And then continue to take it off the loom. Please use your hook and start from the outside in. Like I said, I didn't like all the tension, so I went ahead and took those off before I closed it up. Okay, but I'm gonna finish taking mine off and then I'll be right back with our finished bracelet. Okay, everybody, I'm back and we've gotten our Bananarama bracelet off of the loom, so hopefully your rendition looks similar to this. Um, these color choices are for Breast Cancer Awareness Month which is October, so you'll be seeing a lot of pinks in these this month's tutorial. Okay, so again, this is the Bananarama bracelet designed by Lococo Rama on Instagram. Please make sure to tag him and myself and also hashtag Bananarama bracelet if you make one. We'd love to see it. Um, if you haven't done so already, please go ahead and give me a follow by hitting the little button below. And follow me on Instagram and give this video a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching and visiting. Y'all have a great day. Loom on Loomers. Bye-bye.